In this video, I'll show you how to scan using your brother MFC J. 1012DW or 1010DW printer. So there is two ways how this can be done. There is one scanner over here and there is also a scanner on the top if you have a document with multiple pages and you do not want to scan them one by one. Everything is done automatically. So let me show you these two different ways. So let's say you're trying to scan one by one each pages. Well, you'll need to lift this top lid over here and this will be the scanner glass. This is great if you're scanning one or two pages and, and not a whole document of 10 pages, let's say. Take the paper, place it facing down and you'll notice that over there, there is an, there is an arrow in this corner. It simply means that you need to bring this paper over there and the corner needs to touch the arrow. So bring corner to corner over there. The top part of your page should be on the left side, like here, you see? Okay, so once I brought it where the arrow is, I can close this lid and on the app, I'm gonna select scan. Here, it will give me a few settings that I need to adjust. So first of all, do I want the scan to be in color or black and white? The document size, in my case, it's a letter size paper. And the resolution. Resolution here, it's selected at 300 dpi on the app. And I think you should leave it there. If you're trying to scan some text, you can put it at 200 dpi, which may which will result that the scan will take less time to be completed, but it will have less details. I do not suggest you to choose 100 dpi. I don't think it's enough in general. So I'll go back here and then I'm going to press the scan button. So this is how it should look. If you have another page that you want to scan and attach to the same document, so it will be combined in one single file, go ahead, place the other sheets of paper on the other paper on the scanner glass and then press on add pages and it will scan the second one and you'll have all of them displayed over here. Once you're done, you're going to press the done button on the top right corner. From here, you can actually edit the scan if you're not happy with how it looks by clicking this small icon over there. You will be able to rotate it. You can actually also change the colors by selecting these different presets. Once you're done, press done. And finally, when you want to save it, press share, save. And then you'll be able to share it on social media or maybe save it on your phone or using the scan in a different app. Now, let me show you how to use the top scanner feeder. This top document feeder scanner can accommodate up to 20 different pages at the same time. Over here, I have five different pages. It will take a lot of time simply putting one by one on the scanner glass. So this is why I'll use this top scanner over here. So take your stack of paper and you're going to place it facing down with the top part of your uh, page of your document on the left side. So you see my document is this way. I'll simply turn it like this. And then I'll have to glide it through these two, I don't know how to call them, two tabs like that until you feel a resistance, then release the document. On the app, you're going to press the scan button. Make sure these settings are OK. And then press the green scan button. At this point, do not touch anything. I'll put my phone here and I'll let the printer do its job. It will take one by one each paper and it will scan it. Now, as you see, the pages start to falling over and this is why I forgot to mention, but there, there's this small plastic tab that you can uh, put so the pages are not falling on the ground every time they get scanned. Okay, once it is done, take your phone and you're gonna see every single page over here. You can delete them by pressing the X button if let's say you notice that one of them should not be there. And you can even add more pages. So let's say your document was 40 pages. Well, you can put the 21st pages here, remove these and insert the rest of them. Once you're happy with the result, press the done button 
and again just like before you'll be able to modify them one thing I forgot to show you previously is if you press the settings button right above the share and save button you'll be able to change the name of this file that is getting saved to change what kind of file it is so in this case it's jpeg by default but you can select pdf and I'm sure if you're scanning a long document most people will prefer pdf and finally file size just leave it to normal then go back and share and save Thanks for watching, if you found this video useful please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe and also check the Amazon affiliate links down below. Every time you buy some ink or some paper for your printer through these links you support my channel.